Hi, how are you doing? I hope you are doing great. In this video, we will be discussing the various entry levels for a career in electrical engineering. And we are going to concentrate for a career in electrical engineering per option. But before we continue with the video, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment on this video. Also, do not forget to like the video. You can also share the link to the video to a student who you know is in high school or to a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school. Just as I have always been insisting, the best time to think about a career is after joining Form 1, not after finishing high school. Because after finishing high school, probably you'll have dropped some of the most important subjects for the career that you want to choose. That is, you could be interested with engineering courses and you have dropped physics, or you could be interested with medical related courses and you have dropped biology. By then, my main interest is guiding through a career in either engineering or science based courses. That's why I keep on insisting about performance in mathematics and sciences. If you have also not watched my video on how to prepare for a career in electrical engineering, watch it on the link shown here. In, vi in this video, I went through the entire mathematics syllabus for various levels of electrical engineering course and the mathematics that you do in high school and I tried to guide you through the various topics that are most important in electrical engineering so that you take them seriously right from the word go. I have also done a video on why you should not draw physics if you are interested in a career in engineering. If you have not watched the video, watch it on the link shown here. Now, having clicked that like button, let us go to my computer and we go through the various entry levels for a career in electrical engineering. For a career in electrical engineering, there are five entry levels. There is the artisan level, there is the craft level, which is also called the certificate level for other courses, there is diploma level, there is higher diploma level, and there is degree level. Depending on the performance in high school, various students will join electrical engineering in different levels. This video will be about the entry level for electrical engineering per option, but the same level also applies for other options of electrical engineering or for other subfields of electrical engineering. The first entry level for electrical engineering is Artisan level. Here I have the syllabus for Artisan level. This syllabus is for an area system called TEP, which is being phased out. For the Artisan level, it's still like that, but for the certificate and diploma level, it has been phased out by another system called the module program, where the student do NEC exam after every module. Let us go through the content and see what Artisan level is all about. Basically, as a level is more about electrical installation, and most of the things that the students learn, they are about electrical installation. The outcome of the course is to prepare the student for a career in electrical installation work, mostly in domestic installations. They can also be in a position to do industrial installations in some areas. The only thing they have not done by the time they are finishing a course in arts and in electrical engineering is installation of electrical machine of which they will still do later in their certificate level. Let us go through the objective. The objective of the arts and level is that the trainee should after finishing the course after finishing the course they should be able to carry out installation maintenance and repair of domestic installations and appliances. They should be able to carry out basic wiring in industrial installations. So that's why I was saying because they have not done machines they could have a problem with the machines installation because that is in the craft level. They should be able to lead and interpret drawing and wearing diagrams. What about the entry point? The entry point for this course, here are the entry requirement. Training entering this course must have completed Kenya primary education program. So this program, the at some level you can join right after finishing your KCPE Although with the number of students who have done KCSE already, most of the institutions do not want to take students who have done KCP only. Uh, most of the institutions would prefer to take students who have done KCSE and at least called either an E or a D minus. The duration of the course is two years 
according to the design in the next city but but you realize that these two years are uh, comparing with what they are supposed to study is what they are supposed to study most of the basic concept they start they, they studied in high school mathematics science general studies applied geometry electrical installation uh, from that a lot of time uh, two years is usually too much time for them and some of the institutions prefer to have the student be done with the course in a period of one year what about the examination result i'll leave you to go and check that but the student for them to be able to proceed to the next level they must pass all the theory exam and also pass the practical exam so that they can be able to proceed to the so that they can be able to proceed to certificate level or the craft level in electrical engineering but if they want to stop their studies at ASAN level if they have passed the practical examination but they have been referred in a theory exam they can still get their certificate and move on and start a career in electrical installation work so that is a uh, ASAN level although here we are saying you can do the course with uh, an E minus or a D minus I don't think we should be celebrating that because I believe this is quite a low level of starting your career in electrical engineering and it will take you much longer time for you to be able to attain either a diploma or a higher diploma in electrical engineering which I would say is a much safer area to stop your studies. The reason why I started this channel I saw a lot of wastage students who can easily score a C or a C plus to help them start their career at diploma level are scoring D minus and D prints which are making them to start their careers at a much lower level. So I would prefer be more focused if you want a career in electrical engineering watch my videos know which mathematics topics you should cover know why you should not drop physics get a good grade that you can start your career at a higher level. Now let us go to the certificate level for some courses this is called certificate for some courses it's called the craft level mostly for engineering courses we call it craft so the next level is certificate level or craft level this course uses the current system which is called the modular system the course is supposed to take two years and the student will do neck examination after end of every year first year which is called module one the objective of the first year is to prepare student mostly in installations that is domestic installation solar installation I'll leave you to go and check all the other units that students do in their first year of study. For the student to be able to proceed to the second year, they must have either passed all the units in the first year of study or failed only one or two units. If they fail more than two units or subject, they will be forced to repeat the whole module. But if they fail only one or two, they can be able to proceed with the next level of study provided that they will later receive the examinations which they failed. And the reason why I made the videos for mathematics is because usually I see a lot of wasted. Students come, they do the first year, they get a refer, which is again wastage of time and resources because they will still have to receive this examination they failed. Sometimes they fail the whole year totally, which is again very expensive to the parent. Repeating a whole year in uh, technical institutions or TVET institution will cost a parent somewhere close to 100,000 in terms of the school fees, upkeep, and uh, length. So I really would want to urge you as a parent, instead of paying these extra school fees, it's better to take your time with your child, guide him or her to select the courses properly so that they, so that they select areas that they prepared well in high school. And then there's module two of study, which is the second year, in the module 2 of study, they you take all these units. They will take all these units. You can go through them. But the most, I, the most I'm interested with is the, the electrical installation technology too, which will prepare them more for electrical installation work. There is also estimation, electrical design, estimation and tendering again which will prepare them for contracting work. There's also industrial, machine, and controls. Now they can be able to install motors and other electrical machines. So this is much advanced level than at some level because we can see by now, now the student can be able, this graduate now can do more advanced 
electrical installation work. They can now be able to install machines like motors, transformers, and other machines in the industry. They can also be able to do the star delta, the direct online, and uh, study method of motors. So for the student to be considered to have passed this uh, level again, they must have either passed all the subject or only failed in one or two subjects. But if they fail in one or two subjects, they can retake the two. Having this sad the subject, they feel now they'll be given a certificate in Craft in Electrical Engineering. Students who did ATSAN and they want to join Craft in Electrical Engineering, they will join at the first year of study. So as I was saying, these are the requirements. Training entering this course should have done any of the following pass arts and course in electrical installation or pass Kenya certificate of secondary school KCSE and have attained a mini grade of D print. There is also aspect of the compulsory industrial attachment which is very important. Even if it was not compulsory, I would still advise a student to do an industrial attachment. You can read through here the requirements. Uh, it's supposed to take a total of 330 hours and it's usually done at the end of the course. So here you can also read about the grading. You can see uh, the requirement if in case a student fails one or two subjects. Cadet who fails any paper module in a particular module. Cadet who fails any paper or module unit in a particular module will be referred in the field paper I will be allowed to receipt for three for a total of three times. So if you fill a unit, you can receipt it for a total of three times. After which you should have passed the unit in a period of five years after the date of the first sitting. I believe the information that I've already given you will help you or will help your child who want to do an arts and course in electrical engineering or an arts and course in any engineering course or a certificate in either electrical engineering or any engineering course. If, if, if you have not liked the video, do not forget to like the video. If you have not left me a comment, do not forget to leave me a comment before you, you finish watching the video. Now let us meet in the next one where we'll be discussing the diploma, the higher diploma and the degree level. I believe I've not wasted your time in this video. I'd certainly, I'm not going to waste it in the next video.